Have you been living in Charlotte for a while? Maybe you've been renting, paying, you know, $1,800, $2,500, $3,000 a month in rent. And you know that it's time to buy a house because you're tired of throwing uh, rent money away, um, paying your landlord's mortgage, uh, but you just don't know where to start. Well, I've been working with a lot of first time home buyers uh, recently in Charlotte who are in that situation, um, have a good job, uh, make really good money, um, maybe have recently um, you know, started a family, young family, and to, you know, know it's time to go buy a house. Well, you know, sometimes when you're in a job, like I'm in the mortgage business, whatever business you're in, you can probably relate you deal with things so much every day that you don't even realize some things that you take for granted um, that others don't. And, and one of those is what to do as a first time home buyer. So I just wanted to create a video to talk to you and hopefully answer some of the questions that this young couple had. You know, one thing that they want to know is, are there any benefits for being a first time home buyer? Well, if you make really good uh, money and you have good credit, and honestly, there's not a lot of benefits. Um, maybe uh, if you make less than the um, max income to be in a certain program uh, for a conventional loan, which in Mecklenburg County is $80,200 a year, then you might have a slightly better interest rate. Maybe in, instead of 7%, for example, it's 6.75%. Um, but if you make over that, really, the only benefit is that you can put 3% down um, instead of 5%, which you know, can be a big difference. You, know, you also could get a slightly better interest, uh, sorry, slightly better rate on your mortgage insurance. Again, nothing crazy, but every little bit helps. Uh, another thing that I get a question on a lot is down payment assistance programs. Really what I found over many, many years being in the mortgage business and doing a lot of down payment assistance programs is if you have the money for a down payment, it's really not a good deal. Um, if you don't have the money for a down payment, then it's a great deal because there's no other way to buy a house. The reason is that uh, whatever program you use, North Carolina has a down payment assistance program. As a mortgage broker, I have access to a lot of different more uh, down payment assistance programs. The, di the reason is the interest rates are going to be higher. Um, also, uh, there's going to be a 1% origination fee. That's 1% of the mortgage amount. Um, the reason that is, is because really you can't get anything for nothing. There has to be some way for the uh, agency or whoever to both make money to pay their staff and, you know, whatever administrative fees. Again, um, if you don't have any money for a down payment, well, then it's a great deal. Uh, another thing that I always like to mention is maybe you don't have quite enough money for a down payment. If you are lucky enough to have uh, parents or some relatives that can give you a gift, you're allowed to get a gift for a down payment. Um, if you happen to have money in a retirement fund, maybe that's not the best way, but you can also take basically a loan uh, from your retirement uh, fund for that down payment. Um, some other questions uh, that they had, of course, are about interest rate. So you're going to get bombarded with offers from different banks, uh, you know, online lenders, they're going to show super low rates. I just say, be careful. Again, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. No matter where you're going to get your mortgage, a bank, myself, uh, what they call an independent mortgage bank, um, then everybody is underwriting to the same guidelines. They're ultimately getting these rates from the same place and there's just not a lot of difference. So if you see a low interest rate, if you read the really, really fine print, and sometimes you have to click on, you know, the read details and then another click down there, you'll see that usually they're quoting points to show those low rates and 
be wary <laughs> is what, what I would recommend. Um, what else do you need to know as a first time home buyer, especially in Charlotte? A lot of times I'll be talking to borrowers that are looking at a house. They know they want to be in a certain budget or a certain payment. And so they'll ask me, well, what would that mortgage payment be like if I put another $5,000 down? Um, well, it really takes a lot to move the needle on a mortgage payment. So for example, um, I have a mortgage calculator here. It's just an app on my phone. You can download it too. It's not that much. It's called a qualifier plus three calculator. Um, so I'm going to take $1,000 as a loan amount. I'm just going to say 6.25% interest, a 30 year term and a payment. So a thousand dollars at six and a quarter percent interest means that every additional thousand dollars you put down, your mortgage payment will go down six dollars and sixteen cents. So really the things to be looking for when you're trying to figure out how much you want to pay monthly are things like the real estate taxes. So you can go onto the Charlotte Mecklenburg County uh, tax uh, website. If you go into Google and type I think it's spatialist Charlotte, North Carolina. That's kind of weird, but you could just type in uh, Mecklenburg County um, tax bill lookup. You would want to go in there because a lot of times, for instance, this is being recorded in October of 2024. The uh, property taxes were just reassessed. So what you see on say Zillow and things like that might not be correct you would want to go into the Mecklenburg County tax website and look up the property and see what the annual property taxes are. Obviously divide by 12 and that'll be your uh, monthly um, portion of your tax uh, bill uh, that's added into your monthly mortgage payment. So Mecklenburg County is going to have, you know, not high according to the rest of the country, but high uh, in relation to Iredell County, Rowan County, um, Cabarrus County, some other counties around here. Um, now, if you're buying new construction, that's going to probably be the highest because it's going to be based on what the sales price of the home is. About every four years, properties are reassessed. So if you're buying a home that's, uh, well, pre-owned, <laughs> then you're going to end up really paying less in taxes uh, because what the house sells for according to what the county has appraised it for and based the tax rate on are different. Um, uh, you're going to end up, long story short, paying less in taxes. Uh, <clears throat> another thing are, you know, HOA dues. So if you're thinking about buying a condominium or a townhouse, that can be a huge portion of your monthly bill. Um, not so much on a house, you know, I see you know, maybe $50 a month in typical HOA dues. So that's, that's not really too bad. Um, another thing I want people to really understand is there's a big difference between what you can qualify for as far as a mortgage and what you actually want to pay. Um, if you have very good credit, again, and a down payment, and even with 3% down, you can typically take about 50% of your before tax income to go towards all debt. So that would be any minimum payments that show up on your credit report. So if you have a credit card with a $5,000 balance, you know, you might have a hundred dollar a month minimum payment, um, you know, car loan, maybe that's $500 a month, but sometimes I see with, um, people like yourself that have very good credit, you know, they don't really have a lot of bills. So if you're making $10,000 a month, that means you could really qualify for a $5,000 a month mortgage payment. Um, so be careful. Uh, just because you can qualify for it doesn't mean that's what you actually want to pay. Um, so talk to a mortgage professional like myself um, and get pre-approved before you go out and look at homes so you can really be open-minded and clear-eyed about what things actually cost monthly. So I'll just leave that there. Um, you know, really, 
I think those are the main points to hit in a video. I don't want to go too long on this. If you have any questions, if you found this video at all helpful, please click like and subscribe. If you would like to get pre-approved for a mortgage, go to my website, mortgagesbyscott.com. Again, uh, thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe.